What are the easiest demons of each difficulty in Geometry Dash? I'll tell you the answer to that. It depends on what you're good at. There's all different kinds of skills in the game. How good you are at sight reading a level. How good you are at timings. How good you are at flying or wave. Everyone's good at something else. So there's no definitive answer. What I want to do in this video is play the five easiest demons that I came across uh, for me. One rule I have is that I didn't include any minigame levels because some minigame levels are the easiest of that particular difficulty. First level is the easy demon called Shiver by SP Kale. Now, a lot of you guys might be wondering, what about the nightmare? What about the lightning road? Yes, those levels are both incredibly easy for a demon, but Shiver, dang, this level's easy. And I'll show you guys why. So Shiver right here, there's some pretty open flying. You'll think, wow, is this like a six star, a seven star? No, this is a demon. Anyways, now it's really easy where to do these inputs. The UFO section is very, very open. And the wave is pretty chill for a demon too. Maybe maybe that's the hardest part skill-wise. The duel too is just, you just buffer all these jumps. Like every single jump is a buffer. You see an orb, don't even worry about the timing. You just, you just buffer those. Maybe that's kind of hard getting into there. So up to this point, very easy, very clear what to do. Same with this. Very easy, very clear. There's no like, it's not difficult to read. It is really easy. And that's the thing, even like the lightning road and the nightmare, they take some time. There's some off-screen jump orbs and maybe there's a, there's alternate paths you gotta take in the lightning road, but this is just very easy. Now here is a part, this part you actually have to practice. You can't sight read it because there's some orbs you don't hit. But once you know what orbs you have to hit, right here, it's just the first and the last. You just gotta remember what orb, orange, green. And then I like, I like to go for the coin. Boom, then green, green. And then you just, you hit both of those, no mystery. And then those are just the last two. And then that's just one. And then you hit both of those. Like all you need to do is like, those parts aren't, don't take any skill. I mean, a little bit, you just got to remember which orbs did. And then the spider part, once again, very, very easy. And then once you get to this part, you just hit the last orb. Like, it looks confusing. Whoa, there's so many orbs. You just hit the final one out of the series. And once you know which orbs to avoid and which orbs to hit, skill-wise, very easy level. And there's only a few things you have to memorize. This level is chill because it makes you shiver. Ooh, that was bad. I forgot. <laughs> You have, you can go up early. It's very easy to go up early there, but if you don't, you just die. Wow. I. Miss that okay well lesson learned you got to go up early as the spider to hit those pads on time um wow so that's a very very easy level still took me more attempts than i thought <laughs> i could probably one attempt the nightmare but to be fair i've beaten the nightmare 25 times in a row i still think this level from zero percent is one of if not the easiest easy demon in the game so if you haven't beaten it and you want a free demon do it. Easiest medium demon that I had found was this one called Nadder by Ardolf. This level's a medium demon, so it's d easily like a step up. I mean, if it wasn't, then it would still be an easy demon, right? But the thing that makes this an easy medium demon, one of the easiest medium demons, is it's very clear to read. So if you look here, it shows you, well, not quite yet, but this part is really easy to read, like this gameplay. You just like hit the orbs and you kind of can see like where you have to jump. 
and when you wait to jump, it's... I don't know what it is, but the gameplay, it's, it's just very clean. But you see, like, there's some fake orbs here, but there is uh, an arrow at every single one you have to hit, and it makes it, like, so clean to read. See, and even though, even when it's going fast, too, like, it, it shows you where to jump, and it just feels natural to play this. I don't know what it is. Like, the... So blue orb follows you here and you got to hit like those uh yellow orbs as well but like it flows so well like it that part takes a little bit of practice but da 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 like it flows really well to the song this part here was a little confusing at first but like the trick is just to not hit that many buttons like with that black jump orb if you hold down the button you don't make it like it doesn't work you just got to like tap it and like once you know like exactly what to do, when to hold, when not to hold, it's 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 so relaxing. It's actually it's a really 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 chill level. It takes a little bit of practice to get to that point, but like most of it feels really natural with like maybe a couple hard inputs. But considering there's only like a couple, you'll eventually get it right. Like the rest is just so intuitive for a medium demon. The timings aren't that tight. In practice mode, it might feel like. This might take you like a little bit of time, but it's one of those levels that you go through once in practice and then all it takes is one time and you're like, oh, all of a sudden I'm really good at this level now. Shit, I hit one of the ones I wasn't supposed to hit. There was no arrow on it and I hit it anyways. Because I felt like it, all right? That is a pretty easy medium demon. It takes a bit of practice, especially the parts where it goes fast at the end, but the timings aren't tight. And once you get it, once you know what to do, it's pretty easy to execute. You just got to know what to do. So it's definitely one of the easier medium demons. I don't know if it's the easiest. Like I said, it all depends on your skill set, but it's a really easy medium demon. The easiest hard demon. This one is going to be a little bit controversial. I dream in pixels by metal face 221. It's an old level. This is an interesting level because most of this level is really easy, but then there's just a few hard parts. And the hard parts are very skill-based parts, like ship. If you're decent at ship, this level is going to be a cinch. And the thing is, if you're not so good at ship, I think you can still do it because the ship's the only hard part. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean. Like, look at this. Look at this easy gameplay. Jump, jump, jump a little bit late. Jump, and then you go down. Like, the, the that like that's really easy. The ball gets a little bit harder. And then there's like a couple like tight little bits there. And the wave, you know, I would say it's a little challenging, but it's not that bad. But the ship, there's just a couple ship parts and this ship part's not so bad. It's a little bit open. This is like an easy straight fly. Now, what I recommend is if you're on like 60 hertz or you're not so good at the ship, like I think you can beat this level. You might look at this and be like, oh my God, it's so hard. You just got to get into a pattern. You got to learn how to count. You can't just wing it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You know, like you got, you just got to get into the pattern and then don't deviate from that pattern. Just keep on doing it. And like, once you get a pattern and you've established a click pattern on a ship, like you'll be able to do this level because the only hard parts, it, we're already at 50%. The only hard parts, the ship. And I know with you guys can do it as opposed to doing another hard demon that's like consistently hard demon difficulty. This level I think would crush you a lot less. I think it's one of the easiest ones. Like this is just like, dude, you just buffer on most of those on a hard demon and you just buffer on most of those clicks. Like that's so easy that you got to hit late. But then then we get to another. 
the ship part again, which is hard to be fair. But then what? Then you're home. You're home free, man. After the ship part. One, two, three, four. Down one. He's got to count, man. And then let go. Like you just got to get that, that that sweet, sweet click pattern, and just not deviate from it. You know, a lot of people just when they do the ship, they go in. And they're like, well, it's the ship. I don't have to remember the click pattern. All I got to do is just click when I think I need to click. Treat the ship like it's the ball or the cube and like stick with your same click timings that you always do. Like get a pattern down and you can do those parts, man. And then you're home free. And then it's just this, like very easy. Like I said, the, the non-ship parts in this level are very easy and there's only two ship parts. If you can like... Even if you keep on dying over and over the ship parts, you eventually will get past them. You, you eventually just get past them and then the other parts are free. And so that's why it's an easy hard demon because there's just two hard parts and that's it. Okay. Boom. Yeah, the hard parts are fairly hard. I will say that. It took me a little bit longer than expected. The hard parts are fairly hard, but the thing is, it's just there's two hard ship parts and that's it. And there's only a couple parts in the ship parts that are actually challenging. Some of the portal transitions and then dipping down and uh, getting into a straight fly. But the straight flies are all fairly forgiving. You just got to get the click pattern. And like this level, I think it's very doable because eventually you are going to squeeze past those two hard parts, those two choke points, right? And you'll eventually do it because the rest of the level is hyper consistent and really easy for a hard demon. Like really easy. It's just those two parts you got to get past, which makes it... One of the easier hard demons in the game. Maybe the easiest. The easiest insane demon I found was this one right here. Stalemate by Nox. Another old level. Old, old level. This is an easy level. It wasn't for the UFO. I think this would be a hard demon. The UFO makes it, yeah, like an easier insane. But like this flying right here is pretty wide open. This is very open for an insane demon. Oh my and then the wave part is just knowing where the fakes are. At first, you might be a little bit confused. It might be easier to just memorize it, but the arrows will point to the box that you have to go through, not the actual kind of path itself. You gotta, you gotta get used to that. Duel, so easy. But then this is the part that'll trip up some people. It's kind of a weird pattern here. You gotta wait quite a long time there and then go up, and then that one you gotta hit early, and these ones you all hit kind of late. And then this you can just jump once, and then you gotta go one, two, three down there. And then like you get ready for this part. And this part, there is a way to cheese this and make it like easy like that. And then you go, but I just like to hit everyone. Boom, 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 boom. It, ma it makes my life so much easier. Boom, 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 boom. And the ship flying's not that bad. The Those corridors are a little tight. If you can do electrodynamics, you can do this part. Like I said, this part is a little tight getting here. Just get used to a click pattern. And then those orbs, you just hit late. And then once you get past that, it's just how well can you remember? That's it. It's a it's a memory part. You just got to know when you got to buffer, when you don't. Some of the parts you just chill. Although that timing in between that particular spike there is pretty tough. Other than that, though, this level is one of those levels where it's more just knowing what to do. And there's a couple skill parts. The flying and the UFO are the hardest parts. You get past that. You can get this level pretty easily. It's, it's a really easy, insane demon. And the thing is, you're going to be getting to those hard parts a lot because, like, the rest of the level is so consistent and easy. Like, the ship, it's not that hard at all, you know? Like, it's so much open space.
Really? That was way off, too. I didn't... Oh, dude, I just... Uh, this is a dark platform. You can't... Oh, God. There we go. That was not that hard, aside from me being really dumb and dying to the end a few times, which I shouldn't have. It was my own stupidity, but the UFO part's hard. It's like, as soon as you get past the UFO part, you can get it. You just gotta get used to it. And it gets, it gets kind of consistent. Some people said that Doomed was the easiest insane demon. If you remember Doomed, it was from the shortest uh, levels of each difficulty, of each demon difficulty. And it was like one big wave challenge. The thing is, I'm not good at wave spam. So that level took me longer to learn and do than stalemate did. I think stalemate's easier, but if you're good at wave and you're good at wave spam, doomed might be easier for you. So it really just depends on what you're good at with what is the easiest level of each difficulty. It's very subjective. Oh, hi everyone. It's editing Eric here. I lost a little bit of footage uh, where I was talking about this level before my completion. Luckily I got my completion on it, but uh, Decay I found was one of the easiest extreme demons I'd ever played. From zero, it's the fastest I've ever beaten an extreme demon. And so in my opinion, it's right along similar difficulty to Accu. But the thing I like about Decay is just how consistent it gets. I'm not gonna bother going through the level and doing like a little tutorial like I did with the other levels because it's an extreme demon and there's a lot of little things you need to know. You just gotta be good enough at the game to do it. But once you are good enough to beat an extreme demon, this is a great one to beat because it's very fair and it gets hyper consistent. It's mostly timing based. Once you understand how it works, beautiful. And it's so consistent and it's so much fun to play. There are some parts when you're practicing that are gonna take you a long time to get. And you're gonna be like, I, I don't get it. It seems so difficult, but it all clicks. And when it clicks, it's really consistent and you can beat it really quickly, which is why I think it is the easiest extreme demon at least for me personally. But it's still an extreme demon. It's not like just because this is the easiest extreme demon, you're going to be like, ha, I can do this on autopilot. It's still an extreme demon. It's still difficult. Definitely one of the easiest though. Oh, come on, dude. Ugh. But I knew it was going to happen, so whatever.
Nice. Yes, there we go. <laughs> it took a little bit longer than expected. That's all I'm going to say. But this level is hyper consistent. Uh, Decay, an extreme demon. That's probably the fastest I've ever beaten an extreme demon. Even Accu took me longer than this. This took me 2,330 attempts, which to be fair, compared to other people that do extreme demons, quite a lot for this level. However, I think the least amount of attempts I've ever put into an extreme demon. It's really cool. I love this level. I think Decay is a fantastic beginner extreme. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Those are the five easiest demons of each difficulty that I thought personally were do I think some levels could have replaced certain levels in this list? Of course, because there's some levels that are so similar in difficulty that how could you make a definitive objective list like this? It would be really hard. You know what you'd have to do if you're going to do a list like that? You would have to literally look at how many frames each timing, every single timing was in every level and how many timings there were, how many inputs there were, and do some sort of weird algorithmic thing. Who's going to do that? By all means, I hope someone does though. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up. Helps me out a lot. And I will see you in the next one. As always, peace.